Hey friends, welcome back to another Friday Faith Foundations episode. I have a question for you. Are you struggling to reach the level of success that you desire? If the answer is yes, what do you need to do to be successful? If you have felt overwhelmed with growing your business, you probably have asked that question, right? You've probably said, what do I need to do to be successful? The fact is, there are three crucial things that are going to drive success. Those three things are mindset, strategy, and action. Many of us struggle with a positive mindset. And the reason we struggle is because we're looking for the help. We're looking for that positive mindset in all the wrong places. We're looking at it from a worldly perspective, new age philosophies, or even other people. Without a positive mindset, you cannot create efficient strategies. And here's the thing. Even if you did create efficient strategies and you don't have a positive mindset, you're not going to take positive, intentional, effective action. It takes all three. One without the other two does not work. Two without the other one does not work. In order to achieve success, you have to have all three, mindset, strategy, and action. But here's the thing about a positive mindset. It doesn't come from where you think it comes from. I want to encourage you to go over and look at the show notes after you listen to the episode, because obviously there are more details there, but there are additional references that you can link that I've linked to for you to learn more, not only about mindset, but more around the concept of creating success and how the brain works. So be sure and head over there. The reality is that you can create strategies all day, but if your mindset is not in the right place, if it is not positive, and when I refer to mindset, I'm referring to your beliefs and your thoughts. If they are not favorable, you're not going to be able to implement or take effective action. You're not going to make the right choices that are going to lead to positive action steps that are going to drive the needle forward on your business or your life. Mindset is not only related to business. Mindset is the perspective you have on your entire life. And that stems from your beliefs and your thoughts. So how can you adopt a positive mindset when you feel like you're stuck in a cycle, maybe even a lifelong cycle of doubt, fear, anxiety, self-criticism, imposter syndrome, and lack. God gives us specific advice in scripture. And I want to share a few verses with you that are so solid in their reference to the mind and how we actually have the power within us through the Holy Spirit to transform our minds. So let's start with 2 Corinthians 10, 4 to 5. In these verses, Paul says, the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have the divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So when we refer to strongholds, we're referring to something that, you know, has a lot of strength. Um, if you think of in the olden days, it would have been like a fort, say, up on a big hill, something, a very solid building that was protecting the people in that community. Each one of our negative thoughts are like a brick in this stronghold of negativity that's holding us back. And a lot of that stems from Satan. So we have to take captive those thoughts and change them to be more Christ-like. In Romans 12, 2, Paul wrote that, do not conform to the pattern of this world, 
but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. He's telling us through scripture that we can transform our minds with the help of the Holy Spirit. We can't do any of this by ourselves. Let's just face it. We're humans. We're weak without the Holy Spirit. We need his supernatural power within us to be able to transform our thoughts and our minds. But the the, the meat of these verses is that it's possible. We can take captive those negative thoughts and we can transform those negative, negative thoughts to become more positive. Paul also tells us in Philippians 4, 8, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think of such things. He's telling us right there what we should be thinking of. Because of how we are made, we have so much possibility. God's called us for a purpose, and he will equip us to accomplish that purpose. That in and of itself should give us the assurance that we can readily think of these positive things so that we can stay positive and focused and be able to take the right action because we're making choices that are going to move us forward. We're going to be able to think more clearly. We're not going to have the distractions of fear and doubt and comparison. And anytime we can have clear, positive thoughts, we're going to be able to feel good to have positive emotions that are going to empower us to then take those positive next steps. None of the verses that I mentioned talk about holding on to doubt, fear, or lack or any type of negative thought patterns. They guide us toward renewing our minds and taking those thoughts captive to be Christ-like. So what do you need to do, to be successful. You must improve your thoughts, which begins with your faith in Jesus as your savior and the truth found in his word. I want to encourage you to go back and listen to, if you haven't already, episode 317, which discusses our identity in Christ, how Christ sees us, how he defines us, and episode 319, where I talked about adopting an abundance mindset, trying to get rid of that thought, those thoughts of lack, those thoughts of doubt and fear, and looking to scripture to see where abundance comes from and how God does truly want that for us. Collectively, these three episodes, I think, will be a launching pad for you to start changing your thought processes and really do the work to conform your mind, transform your mind to what scripture says is possible. The Bible was written thousands of years ago, but even back then the Holy Spirit inspired Paul to write about the mind. Your mind is part of your soul. It's where your thoughts and beliefs come from. Your thoughts and beliefs empower your emotions, ultimately empowering your choices and therefore the outcomes that you achieve in life and business. Dr. Caroline Leaf is a pioneer in the neuroscience and neuroplasticity science fields. And her work is based not only on science, but on scripture. And she says that scripture is, or I should say science, is just now catching up to scripture, which I think is so fascinating. Her book is called Switch on the Brain, and it is one of my favorite reads. Yes, I'm totally a science geek. I love the brain and the brain science, but when I was writing my book, her book was kind of an inspiration for me. And I want to tell you that the science behind her work, the evidence that she has discovered is that when we think negative thoughts, we actually trigger neural pathways in our brain that are not what God created it to have. They're like these ugly, scraggly little neural pathways that start growing. 
So our negative thoughts can literally create new neural pathways to grow in our brain. But here is the kicker, and this is what is so miraculous. We can change our thoughts, and therefore we can reduce those ugly add-ons, those nasty little add-ons, and help our brain go back to its original form, which is beautiful, functional, purposeful, and positive. I want you to think about this as a way to start mastering your thoughts and creating more success in your life and business. So I call it, I used to call it my five C's of journaling method. I have now adopted two additional C's. So here's what you need to do. You need to invest in God's word, pray, and do so consistently daily work to catch the negative thoughts, challenge the negative thoughts, confess when you're stuck in a pattern of doubt or when you have lacked trust, when you've doubted what God could do in your life. Confess that that sense of lack that comes from a lack of trust. Change your thoughts through the help of the Holy Spirit, then collaborate with the Holy Spirit to gain more control over your thoughts. The more control you have over your thoughts, the more confident you're going to be, number one, in your identity in Christ, and in number two, in the purpose that he's called you for, and three, in the decisions you make and the actions you take. So catch challenge change, confess, collaborate, control, and confidence. And the more confident you are, the more confident your soulmate clients will be that you are there to serve them and that you can serve them. I want to leave you with this verse. It's proof of the power of faith. And it can be found in Mark 11, 22, 23. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Your mind is your thoughts and your beliefs. Listen to what Jesus said about how powerful they can be if you trust in him, if you fully believe in what's possible. Doubt comes from Satan. He uses it to distract us from the truth which is found in scripture. I encourage you to consistently work to change those doubt-filled thoughts. Hold scripture close to your heart and trust Jesus and your brain's ability to do everything he's called you to do because he will equip you with all you need to do it. If you would like help navigating the world of entrepreneurship with a positive mindset, Join us in the Success Without Social Business Growth Academy. It's a loving, nurturing environment where we focus on a positive mindset, brand marketing strategies. We support each other, hold each other up. We talk about our faith. We talk about scripture and we pray for each other. But not only that, we hold each other accountable to take intentional effective action and to grow in our faith and believe in the power that we have within us through the Holy Spirit. So if you want to grow your business, if you want to work on having a positive mindset, join us in the Academy today. The link is in the show notes. Friends, I'm so grateful you were here with me today. And I pray, I pray over you today that that the Lord will bless you with all the strength you need to recognize those negative, doubtful thoughts 
that are not serving you. They don't have a purpose for you or in your life. Satan is using them to hold you back. But your soulmate clients are waiting for you to show up. They need you. They want you to provide the help and support that they need for a solution to their problem, whatever that may be. So start working on those thoughts today. Change your mindset, change your life, all in the name of Jesus.